quick disclosure, both this video and this skin are not associated with the TV in any way, shape, or form. This is solely an open source project I've been dying to get done. Enjoy. But yeah, guys, pretty much self-explanatory. For those not in the U.S., DirecTV is a satellite TV provider here in the States. And this was their main user interface from 2006 to 2012. I've been obsessed with this since I was a kid, constantly begging my parents to get us DirecTV because of this. I even bought a used receiver and I was able to do a screen capture of the menu navigation. So check that down below. I mean, just look at it, guys. Once you turn on the TV, you just honestly feel like you're in a beach house. So I can't fathom why they got rid of it. And I've been dying to find a time to remake it, so that's just what I did. This is a Kodi skin I developed. Um, basically makes the interface, the Kodi software interface, look like the uh, DirecTV interface. Um, in fact, I started a whole YouTube series on dedicated to doing Kodi skin tutorials because there was never really one um, that existed. So definitely check that out. But uh, real quick, I'm going to walk you guys through it. Um, it's on GitHub, and you can track the progress on the Kodi.tv forums. I'll link below. Honestly, I feel like I really need help with the UI. This is a 2000s color scheme, and I'm not really a designer, so I might end up even hiring someone because of it. Um, but yeah, trying to get pairing the colors with the background and everything, it's it's not perfect. It's, it is a challenge. So, um, But, you know, this is kind of what I've got... Um, at its current state and then you know tweaking the menus are another pain so it's not all perfect but I just wanted to get this um, kind of off off of my plate a little bit and so see if someone can help me out um, anything particular you guys want to see or that you kind of want to see as a requested feature let me know um, drop it down below in the comment section and you know anyone willing to donate their time uh, hit me up we could do a zoom call or something um, you know I, I really Really want to get this done as soon as I could. And, um, you know, let me know. And um, I duplicated this from the Estuary skin. So it's kind of very similar, you'll notice. But I just kind of half assed it again. So don't judge a lot of stuff that's not perfect. But it's, it's where it started off. So here's the main menu navigation. You can move around with a mouse, keyboard, arrow, or remote. Um, I guess for now the color scheme is similar enough. But definitely trying to enhance it. Um, some of these menu items on the left show up if it's enabled, such as a TV backend installed. I want to get better work on like the search button, so you can see it should uh, sort of let you kind of search right there on the right-hand side menu. That's definitely something planned. I move the exit button at the bottom, so this is where you'd sort of um, basically turn it off or the computer or exit the app and such. And you can see it's kind of, you're seeing weather there. I just kind of duplicated the weather button, so that's... That's that. And um, you'll also notice the settings button, the systems, that's sort of settings that's programmed to go to this menu here. Definitely want to try and maybe integrate it here on the right hand side, but you know, when I when I find the time. So yeah. So the top heading bar here is um, kind of like one of my favorite things here. Um, you can see because this was one of the things that really set Direct TV um, apart. Obviously it looks very plain Jane right now. Definitely got a yeah, need help with that in terms of UI, but at least, you know, I got the concept out there. It's got the system clock and the uh, Kodi logo and such. And like most cable boxes, you see the now playing on the right-hand side, top right. You can click on that to go there. Just a simple video playing, hit the escape to go back, and you can just, you know, as that's playing in the background, you can do whatever you'd like. And obviously, you got to pro uh, finish programming some of these labels here in the heading bar, so that's just a lot to do. I have also want to program the channel um, banner, so when you change a channel or are now playing that that shows up on the very top as as it is right now so that's you would uh right now everything's on the bottom here but i want it all on the very very top but that's you know that's another thing in progress um now let's go to the movies now this is basically the list view for most of the uh, applications here and you can see that it's sort of um yeah this was very bare bones i i think the uh try and replicate the direct tv interface and it's it was very bare to begin with, so I definitely could use an improvement. I would love to get people's feedback on this and get someone's help on this because I, I don't even know where to start. But uh, yeah, that's it is complicated too. There's like three different views in terms of editing this this view because you know for like video files and different other types of files, folders, etc. So it's not an easy task. And I think lastly is a TV. So I've got. Um, I've actually had the Pluto plugin installed, so at Pluto.tv, it's like uh, free or basic TV stuff you can get. 
and you can sort of tune to it. It's kind of nice. Um, you know, you can open here and switch to that channel and it plays live TV. So it's super nice. I really want to get the channel guide looking like direct TV too, but I, like I said, I have not had, I've only, this is like a hard thing to do as well. So this is just, I, I really need help on this if anyone's got time. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I guess I could just switch here and you'll see, give it a second, it'll play video. And fit most garages. So, you know, it plays in the background on the top right. So that's, hey, that's live TV for you. I definitely want to try and integrate this with like a paid TV uh, service like uh, Sling TV or YouTube TV. So I got the guide and, you know, the whole cable box experience without, you know, having a cable box anymore. Um, and, you know, having like antennas or anything like that, like an actual back end thing. So, but, you know, baby steps. I, this is the current state right now. And, um, I'm excited for this. I, I want to keep working on this. Let me know what you guys think. If there's something specific, you have an idea for how something should look or, or an improvement, drop it down below. Um, a link should be up. And uh, yeah, let me know, guys.